I made a video some time ago called Finland is kind of screwed and it got a lot of hate, especially from native Finns. And, and I understand that, you know, who is this guy? You know, he's not even from here. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, who is he to say? Like, what, what, what are your qualifications? Where is your degree? I don't know exactly what these people were thinking, but my reasoning was pretty sound. And that reasoning was statistics being able to read things like this. Um, Finland is still kind of screwed. Um, and, and you can feel it in the air. You know, um, I do talk to people sometimes. I know it's very surprising, but every now and then I do venture outside of my bubble to talk to people. And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of people who have a lot of positive outlook for what is happening with this unless they're rich of course unless they're rich and the uh, orpo government you know of course is is right there now now why am i going over this again well it's it's been a little time since the first finland is screwed video and and it brings me no joy to make this finland is still kind of screwed video um but you should have known better before you went to the polls i understand that with with with, with capitalism, it's very, very hard to keep a good economic outlook for the long term because in the long term, capitalism just, just kind of eats itself um, from the workers who are basically just making money to buy their own commodities to the big corporations who eat up all the small businesses that this government is saying, oh, just become an entrepreneur and, and, and get eaten by a big business, you know. It is the snake that eats its own tail. Now, here's an article, and and you know this this is in this was reported in, in various different places here in Finland. Finland wants fifteen thousand international students and thirty thousand workers per year by twenty thirty. You're not getting that. That that that's 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 a pipe dream. That is an absolute pipe dream. And and it's not just it's, it's not only because this government is racist. It's not just because racism is just becoming more, you know, hip and fashionable these days as, as more and more of these right wing imbeciles get elected and, you know, find a way to tiptoe their way around all of this uproar of their, their racism. Um, we got some problems here that are going to make this a little bit impossible. 15,000 international students. Well, first of all. Petr Yorpo and all of his right-wing rich coddling buddies want foreign students to pay even more for their tuition. It used to be dirt cheap for students coming here from abroad to get an education and it just gets more and more and more expensive and now it's going to get infinitely more expensive and I don't really, you know, I don't know how that entices. Maybe somebody out there can help me understand. I don't know how this entices foreign students to come to Finland and not only come here and study, but stay here and share their talents with the workforce. Because a lot of people are leaving the workforce earlier and earlier and earlier. Well, <laughs> nearly half of foreign students surveyed say that they plan to leave Finland after graduating. And who could blame them? Um, especially with the way things are right now. They came to Finland thinking that, uh, you know, they're going to be taken care of better than they were. And they see, they, they see the kind of madness that the majority here in this country elected. They see the sort of apathy that people have, except for the opposition, of course, the apathy that people have towards racists, not only on the street, but in their own government, they don't care about having rapists. Well, that too. Racists and also sexual assault. Ville Rudman, hello, uh, you piece of shit. Um, yeah, so you've got half of foreign students and probably more than this. Too. This is probably a generous, this is probably a very uh, conservative estimate. Half of foreign students plan to leave after graduating. Um, and you may be thinking, well, so what? You know, we'll just we'll, we'll make up this gap in the labor market with our own people. Yay, Suomi! Yay, Finland! Yay, nationalism! Your birth rate is still going down and down and down and down. Yeah, it, it's going down in a lot of places, but in a country with this small of a population that's pushing so many immigrants out of the way, 
um, that not making it enticing whatsoever for people to come to Finland to share their talents or even their unskilled quote unquote labor. Uh, yeah, it's the, the birth rate thing is still a problem. It, it started to go up a little bit during the pandemic because people were cloistered and, you know, I have it on good authority. I don't know this, but um, a lot of people when when you know they, they, they like to have sex when when they're inside for a long time, and that's probably why the birth rate went up for a little bit. And now it's like, you know, it's 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 you know the lowest level since 1900. Um, and then you. We keep getting headlines like this, these berry farms that, that hire dirt cheap labor out of Thailand and other Asian countries. Um, under, under all this scrutiny, uh, under all these investigations for treating the workers like shit, which, again, under capitalism, everybody, um, you know, is, is basically a wage slave. But the people who come here from abroad who think that they're going to have an easier time than they did where they came from, they're not really finding that to be the case either. This is also very troubling, or it should be troubling, if you're Finnish and you want your country to thrive, unlike this government who just wants the rich to thrive. Over 40% of workers in Finland want to retire early. And again, I think... I absolutely think that this is a conservative estimate or a, a conservative number because maybe some of these people surveyed, they're a little bit hopeful, a little bit optimistic that, you know, their working conditions will improve over time and that Petri Orpo and, and, and Rika Purra and all these other neoliberal far-right fascist clowns are really going to look out for their best interests and they're going to give them a four-day work week and they're going to increase their pay and... None of that shit's happening, so you've got more and more workers saying that they want to get out of here early. And it's not just students who are leaving Finland. It's also the workers, native-born workers, who are seeing their wages stagnate. Their wages stagnate and prices go up and up and up, and they see that Orpo and his group of clowns are coddling the rich and, and, and making more debt, 10 billion euros more in debt, and making the people who are not rich, the people who are struggling the most, making them pay for it. That doesn't make any sense. It should be the people with the most money paying for that and not the people who have fucking nothing, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Maybe, maybe things will get better. All of these things combined, and these are just a few of the things, you know, you've also got... Uh, there are a lot of social things happening in this country right now. You know, bullying, youth violence. That that you know, if if I'm an immigrant and and I'm reading how racist this government is, and and I'm and I'm seeing things about you know even berry pickers are um you know being mistreated and you know I'm not really feeling all of that excited about com coming to Finland if if I'm an immigrant and I'm looking for work. And, you know, I'm not all that excited coming to Finland if, if I'm a, a student and 10 years ago I learned that it was a lot cheaper and now this asshole Orpo wants me to pay the full, full everything. It's, uh, it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. And it brings me no joy to say any of this. You know, I didn't come to Finland five years ago thinking that, you know, this place was the socialist utopia that so many Americans seem to think it is. Breaking news, a lot of, of Americans are really stupid and they only know what's within their own borders. Sometimes within the border of their own state. They don't care what happens outside of Texas. They don't care what happens outside of Kentucky. They don't care what happens outside of California even. I'm not just singling out the South even though they're, you know, the South. Um... I didn't come here thinking that this would be some kind of utopia, but I never thought that so many people would vote so far outside of their own interests to get shit like this to happen. You think you're going to get 15,000 international students per year? And you think you're going to get 30,000 workers per year the way that you're treating the labor market? You might get 30,000 workers a year if this idea of just giving everybody a job and, and, and you know, Here's a job. You want a job? If you think that's going to solve your financial crisis, it won't. Because, you know, again, workers are there to buy their own commodities. They're there to... Their labor, basically, they're working to buy their own shit. 
you know, in, in very, very simple terms. And the, 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 this idea from the Orbo government, there's this, this neoliberal bullshit about weakening the, 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 the welfare state and strengthening the labor market. If, if your population starts dwindling, if people start leaving, you don't have as many people to buy the things that the workers are making who are already basically buying their own shit. Their purchasing power is in the toilet. Their confidence is in the toilet. These people should know better, but they they do. But their main objective, of course, is to help their rich buddies get even richer. So that they can get richer themselves as politicians. You know, it, it's... It's basically turning into America Jr. here, and 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 it, it's not just with the with the politics, but also with the way the politics are covered and the way that people treat politicians here. It's getting pretty embarrassing, especially the way they treated Sanda Marin. And if you look at any of these discussions on online, if you translate some of them, it's just so embarrassing the the, the, the way that so many people think here and the way that people think here is how you get right-wing governments such as this one who are just helping this this government collapse even further they're taking this long-term prospect of finland being screwed and hastening it a little bit maybe orpo once he makes his millions he'll fuck off for sweden or he'll fuck off for france or germany or whatever maybe i don't know maybe there's something else going on but um yeah still doesn't look very good finland still doesn't look very good you made this mess. The majority voted for NCP. The majority, uh, you know, voted to make the Finns party, the embarrassment of the Finns party, the second most popular party in this government. I'm just, I'm, I'm losing steam. I'm, 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 I'm very. I'm starting to become a little bit like uh, George Carlin in the sense that. It, it, it seems like it's a hell of a lot easier for me to just stop complaining about this sort of stuff and stop trying to find solutions because humans are just, in the end, going to vote against their interests and then wonder why it's all crashing down around them. Oh my god, it's the immigrants. Oh my god, it's the times. No, it's you and your stupid vote and, and capitalism and neoliberal policies and you thinking that the money is going to trickle down to you. It's embarrassing and it's frustrating to watch, but it's also fun to, to read some of the comments from really, really butthurt Finns who think that it's so, you know, so, so wrong for an outsider to have an opinion on what's happening. Um, I never thought shit would get to this point. I thought maybe, maybe, just maybe Finland could have been the exception to all the other countries in Europe losing their minds, becoming stupid and voting right wing, but uh, nope. And now we all get to do the collapse, as Guided by Voices said. Watch the collapse. Fun times! <laughs>